Okay, so in this video, I'm going to work a little bit more with Dynamasks. So we're going to add some dirt into this gun. So right now we have the generic metal texture. I'll probably just put it inside of this group. So let's add a, another material into here. And we can search our asset list in the search bar here. Let's see what we get. Mm, sand, mud. I think I like the sand one. Yeah, that'll work. I'm just going to tweak how this looks initially and then just put it into the cracks using Dynamask. So initially it looks a little bit too large of a scale here. So I'll turn this down to negative one. We'll see how that looks. Yeah, I think that will work. We'll try negative two for a second though. Nope, negative one. So let's click on the Edit Dynamask and we'll go into full paint mode by clicking on Yes. Clicking on No will just get you a black and white image. It's a little bit faster to work with but I want to see everything on here. So I'm going to click on one of the presets in this list here to get me started. So let's go sandy dirt and see how that looks first off. Alright. Interesting, not exactly what I want. Let's try using cavity soot. Now it just goes into the crevices, which is a little bit more of what I want. But I don't like what it's doing here. That doesn't seem, uh, it's too much. So I'll want to do a little bit of painting on this. I can change the overall texture. But really, I just need to change a little bit of where this dirt is going. So I'll go into painting mode by clicking the paintbrush. Spracing some of that back. Even change my brush type to not be quite so uniform, but more uh, damage seems good. There we go. That's nice edge to it. I'll just go through a lesson a little bit. And then if I want more dirt in certain areas, say this gun wasn't very well cleaned, you can just switch the color by hitting X on your keyboard, and then this will be painting with white. And now I can actually paint a little bit with the dirt here. Just hitting X again to erase or paint with black. And once I'm happy with that, I can hit accept my mask and it will apply those changes to the Dynamask. And now I have a nice edited dirt pass. So let's say I want a little bit more scratch scratches on this paint layer. So let's 
first find out which one we want, and I'm pretty sure it's the paint layer. Yeah, that's the black here. We'll click on the Edit Dynamask. I'm going to go into, uh, yes, I still want to be able to view this. And if I want to view what this mask looks like currently, I can hit M, as in mask, on my keyboard and see exactly what this mask is doing. Pretty decent. I could try just uh, editing it from here, making a couple scratches and whatnot. Paint edge wear. I think that is the one. And from here, I'm going to add a couple of my own scratches here. And I'll just use a basic brush with a thin diameter. That's good. Maybe a little bit of an oval like shape. Pitch the angle. Just so I can have some variety. And we'll watch Shape Dynamic on. And I'll turn Transfer on as well. So now I can make nice little scratches. again on my keyboard to switch back so I can see what it looks like on the model. Once I'm happy with my scratches, I accept that mask. And that's it for this tutorial on Dynamask and Quixel. I'll see you in the next tutorial.